the speed at which the government shut this down and in the process lost a good man along the way, I think was because they are terrified of how this is going to be greeted, particularly on social on, on social media. And I think politicians are terrified of social media, the high priest there. And I think the media dance to that tune as well. I think we in the media fall into that. And we've lost a very good public servant. And I think someone who could have filled a very important role uh, potentially in the future um, in terms of fighting future pandemics. I don't agree with you at all, actually. Uh, I think there's a few interesting things. I think we're talking about the report that's going to be produced by the top civil servant in the Department of Health, who also happens to be, as far as we know, the person who signed off on the job. So there's something interesting in that in and of itself. It looks to me, Shane, very much like normal recruitment processes were not followed for this job, this job as a, as a professor in Trinity. And... I happen to think that that is important. And and I don't uh, doubt for a moment Tony Holohan's capabilities and, and his ability to do the job. I wouldn't mourn the loss. Of, I, I, don't, I don't believe in a culture of, of personality or exceptionalism that says, oh, we must mourn the loss of Tony Holohan. Well, he is exceptional. I don't, I, it, he, he led the country through and a if pandemic. He hadn't led that him, somebody else him a, would have led him. Yeah, but, but it wasn't somebody else, Kieran. It was him. That's the point. He, and that's why he is exceptional. Which is why if they had him advertised extra- the job, he most probably would have, got, would have gotten it. He's extraordinarily experienced. Yeah, but he would have gotten the job in that case, Shane. Here's the thing. I don't see this as any different than the controversy around the appointment of Zappone. I don't think that we should be creating jobs specifically for specific people out of the public purse. I don't think we should be doing that. I don't think it's that difficult to follow procedures. I think this is the exact same. And I actually think if it wasn't Tony Holohan, uh, we, wouldn't be, we wouldn't be talking like this, going, oh, we've lost a good man. No one went on about we've lost a good woman in Zappone. No one gave a Well, a, hang on. The, the good woman was living in the States. That's so there's, neither uh, there's here nor no, there. Well, there's there no are either This proceed- person is in public life here. And who'd go into public life Well, now? you and I are in public life life and people would take no, our not, jobs in a heartbeat. We're not in public life. We are we, in public we're, we're life. Not, we we're in the media. Wrong. We're yeah, in the we media. We would be trounced if we did something we're, wrong. We're not public servants. We're in the mm. media. It's a different gig. My feeling about this is, is is that proper procedures do matter. I don't actually believe that this is just about toxicity online or, or, or a Twitter mob. I, I don't give a monkeys about them at all. No, you don't. No, I but, don't. But politicians do, unfortunately, and the media do. And but the media this is jumped. still about accountability, proper procedures uh, and standards in public office. And, and that does matter to me. And I'm, I'm surprised if it doesn't matter to you because I kind of think it does it it, it yes. does but not in, in to be honest in this sense I think he was the right person for the job and we've lost that person now and, and I think we regret him. it in the future Shane if they had advertised Could the job I, with this role in mind Tony Holohan would have strolled into it but he would have been competing against other people who were maybe suitably qualified and why would that have been a wrong thing to happen you know what it's another storm in a teacup that we're making and I think we'll Don't regret agree. it in, the, in years to come. 